Well, we'll touch on the other ones. We had uh, this one from Chachi. He'll come back to me. He'll come back to me eventually. Uh, well, hey, first, Alex Carr is out there in California. He says he's uh, working with the uh, new Mac Pro at camp. He, he's got some, I keep forgetting, he's told me before, but it's, it's some kind of interesting camp, and they're obviously doing a lot of multimedia stuff there, too. And he's, he's mostly, I guess, a camp counselor of some sort. Uh, where they have Mac Pros? Where they have Mac Pros. I want to go to that camp. I know, right? <laughs> I, uh, he's got to write in and remind me. I know he's written in before. It escapes me at the moment, just like I forgot my awesome thing of the week. But uh, uh, he says they were using the new Mac Pro at camp to deal with all the media stuff, especially videos. We affectionately call it the trash cam. There you go. Um, and also, almost dropped the thing. Uh, and also one from Chachi. Oh, this was awesome. We were listening to this. This is a report actually from uh, BBC World. And uh, basically, they're aiming to 3D print a bridge. As in, they start on one side, they're 3D printing, the ink is steel, basically, and uh, they start at one end, and it builds it out to the other. It's a Dutch design fir firm, uh, MX3D. We retweeted it over on Awesome Cast on the Twitters. I'll try to make sure this gets shared out otherwise as well. Um, but yeah, they're, they're about to print a steel bridge across the canal in Amsterdam. The printer will build the bridge as, as it goes along, so uh, there won't be any need for scaffolding or for workers to assemble the steel parts together. Well, there's a bunch of people out of jobs. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, so it's going to be all one ginormous piece? I guess. Yeah. The printer will build the bridge as it goes along. Yeah. It, so you, so instead of, well, you know, I think there's a lot of like lack of failure points. If it's just one piece of steel that's formed in such a way think of if you could just cast a bridge you don't because it's mm -hmm. too big it's too you, big you you can cast giant pieces that are huge uh, but my, my father used to work in a foundry and he'd talk about like here here's this big piece that's coming on you see the trucks you see the wide loads if you're going up uh, i-79 mm -hmm. or wherever you know those were made in and and some cast mold and i did work of course with the steel industry as well with videos um they have somebody made a giant mold of that girder and they cast steel, like hot melting steel, into that, and that's how they make that. And I'm I'm no engineer, but that's what I've I've observed. So obviously, you're not making an entire bridge in one piece. Nothing is that big. We cannot physically handle something that big, and let alone transport it. Right? Mm -hmm. You'd almost have to cast it right there, and this solves that problem. Presuming the three D printing I, I, steel I just, is is yeah. structured enough and works. I ju I just picture like the liquid metal as it or liquid steel as it's dripping like out like terminator. being like the terminator and it just it just morphs into some a bunch of a bunch of tiny terminators it's incredible maybe this, maybe this is how the, the bridge. maybe this is how the uh transformers got their start the transformers yeah. I, well if you go into the origin of the transformers there's the all spark and no we're not getting into that part sorry <laughs> about that